I am Bill Pedler. We're here at the Science Museum of Virginia at the 2013 Senior Design Expo for the Virginia Commonwealth University Engineering Department. This is the linear rotary motor. It's a track full of coils. You energize the coil one at a time to get movement on what we call the forcer. Uh, as you get the movement desired, you turn off one coil and turn on the next one to get more movement down the track. It's essentially a mount for many applications. It's different from what's out there in industry because in industry, the part that moves has cables connected to it, sending in control signals, where the, as the track is made of permanent magnets. We have a prototype where it's the absolute reverse, where the track is made of the coils, all the control signals run through that, and the part that moves is made of permanent magnets. This iron is to make a fully automated digital iron. My name is Dheeraj Manjanak. I'm a senior at VCU, and I'm a computer engineering major. Hamilton Beach contacted us, and they wanted us to make a 21st century iron. We wanted it to be as easy to use and intuitive as possible. We took the 2.9 inch touchscreen and we put it inside one of their irons. All you need to do is you select the fabric, hit select, and it automatically sets the temperature for you. We can actually play videos on there. We can show demos and examples of people ironing if someone doesn't know how to iron so they can learn through the iron itself. So if all goes well, they might actually start designing and creating a real LCD touchscreen iron. My name is John Swanson. I am a senior, and I go to Virginia Commonwealth University. My name is Matthew Shell. I'm a senior. So today we have a stair climbing walker, so you don't have to ever worry about lifting it up. But in reality, it's the first mobility device of its kind that has the ability to climb stairs or any object, as well as serve as a wheelchair, as a chairlift, or just a walker in general. It's an all-in-one device. You can climb all sorts of obstacles and also climb down them. You would just walk up to the stairs and it automatically levels itself out and climbs them for you and we decided to create this so that we could help elderly individuals, those in physical rehabilitation, get back into society, become confident with themselves. I went into mechanical engineering primarily because I liked mathematics and physics, and it just seemed like a good way to apply those fields to help people and just become, yeah, an engineer.